Okay, this is an electric skateboard I made for probably about half the price as what you would pay for a commercial one. Um, the board I got on eBay, which is about 120 bucks, it's called a Z board pintail. I like the retro look. The trucks and the mount, the motor mount, I got from, and they are real good quality. And the motor I got from Hobby King. The 6354 290 kV. They're about, I think it was about 80 bucks. That's Australian from Hobby King. In here, there is a um, speed controller, which is a 150 amp speed controller. Now, that's also from Hobby King. Um, these batteries I found are nice and tidy. And you just now. now that's just a, a um, jump starter for a car, which you plug in where you plug the jump starter in. I've got, this is it here. Now you get these on eBay. And these are about 100 bucks. That's the spare one for this. Now I get about 9 Ks out of one of these. So two of those, yep, 18 Ks. And that's a fairly good distance. The speed I get off this board is about 30 k's an hour and these brackets here I got those from Bunnings which is just a stainless drawer handle and they just, that just fits me nice and snug. Um, the remote controller which is another uh, Hobby King, that's the one I've got. You can, these ones here you can only buy internationally, so it takes a while for them to arrive to Australia. But other than that, they have these ones in stock, which is the uh, GT2E. But Not a good look when you're riding a skateboard. That one's a nice one. They're about 20, 30 bucks. And that does a good job. Now the casing of views, which has the speed controller in there, also the little receiver for this transmitter. Now they are from JCAR, they're about six bucks. So the whole cost of this board, this Truck kit with the motor mount, they're about 344. The motors from Hobby King, they're about 80, 90 bucks. Battery packs, they're about another 90, 100 bucks. Speed controller, probably about 110, 110 bucks. The hand controller, about 30. And the skateboard deck was about 100. So you're probably around about six fifty to seven hundred dollars, which is probably half the cost of a commercial one you buy online. And there it is. Well, also, I forgot to say these battery packs or jump starters. That's the best that brand there. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't go anything else. So I'd pay the money and get that brand. That seems to work well. You get your 9Ks out of that. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention too was with the, um, the Hobby King motor, they don't have the circlip and keyway mount for your um, gear, that pulley gear that fits on the motor. So with these Hobby Kings, what I've done is I've actually ground two flat spots on the shaft and put them fully on reverse with grub screws and I actually added another grub screw so you've got double the double the grab but yeah you have to do that really for an extra 70 bucks I'd probably get the um, inertion motor kit as well um, but you know that's another 70 bucks you've got to spend so I've tried to build this as cheap as possible with the best quality